Hey guys, thank you so much for reading this blog entry on my move to Lake Nona. Um, I love it here. It's my new community. It's my new family. I think that it was the best decision, decision that my family could have ever made. Um, but let's retro seed a little bit and go back and just revisit some of the reasons why my family and I decided to move to Florida, specifically Orlando, right? So as you know from the article that you just read, um, you know that we were looking for lifestyle. I mean, we were working so many hours in New York, missing time with our children. And for me personally as a mom, I think one of the things that attracted me the most to Orlando specifically was the fact that the weather is just so, so, so forgiving. I mean, the lowest has been this January has been like 41 degrees and that's a breeze coming from what six degrees is like in New York City with children. So you guys already know that my husband is an avid traveler and when I'm home alone with the kids, you know, it can get a little bit challenging. So those were even one of the factors why we moved here. I mean, think about when I'm home alone, probably for like a week's worth, uh, Randy's in Europe or something and I have to deal with two car seats, two babies, one that's barely walking, one that walks but technically runs. Um, I don't have to deal with any of that here. I don't have to worry about heating up my car. I don't have to worry about cleaning it. Um, nonetheless, you know, the extra um, perk of no snow on the ground when I'm driving with my children on board. Um, so I may seem kind of silly, but having both experiences, I can appreciate being in warmer weather. Um, in addition, um, I think that overall, I think this was really a decision for the kids. Um, I'm still a very New York City, you know, Hudson County kind of girl at heart. I mean, I miss the food. I miss, you know, just that, that city life. Um, it's just something about New York City that's just unique and I know nothing and no place that I will ever live in will replace that but I think that Orlando and specifically here in Lake Nona it's a place for children it's a place to grow your family it's a place where you see your children go to school excellent school system um, there's sparks probably like every five blocks you don't even have to worry about you know Oh, it's the sun setting at four o'clock today, like in New York. Um, I remember when Allegra was her first year, pretty much her first year and a half or so. She was like in our house from daycare to the house for almost like eight months straight because if it wasn't 70 degrees outside, I wouldn't take it to the park. Um, yeah, I was a first time mom, but um, she had a tendency to always be sick. So just moving here just became a no brainer. Um, what else can I say? Um, we moved here for so many reasons. The market here is a lot slower than what it is in New York. I mean, uh, jobs that were paying six figures in New York City are paying a lot less here. Um, but that's not a bad thing, actually, because if you have an entrepreneur bone in you, this is the place where you'll thrive. I mean, there's so many people here making money out of things that they love, you know, and they're just being creative. And now with the internet and social media, there's just so many ways that people are making a living and they're living and they're enjoying life and they're going golfing and they are, um, just living. Um, and I think that at the beginning, that was a big challenge for me because I wasn't getting job offers like I was getting them in New York City and I, I lost that competitive edge um, in terms of like salaries and all that. And I think it was more like a mental thing that I needed to get over and I'm doing my thing. You know, I'm, I'm still pretty much involved with the real estate that you guys are seeing. I'm much more engaged into my, my culinary um, hobby, which is pretty much eating, not the cooking part, but, um, you know, uh, giving my critiques about food and really focusing on that and being creative in terms of launching a uh, pencil loft. And I don't think I would have been able to pull that off if I lived up north. Um, I was consumed by my work and, you know, at $2,000 daycare, you kind of have to continue to work and then, you know, lose hours of sleep in order for you to work on your creative projects. And that's not something that I have to do here now. You know, our money extends a little farther down here because, you know, mortgages and rent is a little bit um, cheaper depending on where you live. Um, but food and gas cost the same everywhere else. 
Um, I think that that for me has been a huge bonus because um, I, I, I wouldn't be having conversations with my husband about potentially opening a restaurant and buying a house, like a zombie, ho a zombie house for me to flip and um, just being a little bit more creative while still making money. Um, I think I would have just continued being addicted to going to work from like 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. in New York. Um, the reasons are all there and um, I really want to welcome you guys to send me an email, contact me via Instagram, call me. Let's talk about how we're going to get you down here to, to Orlando or to just Florida or anywhere that you want to relocate pretty much that can offer you so much more life um than where you are now however please reach out to me i would be more than happy to talk to you about my experience what i've learned what were my rookie mistakes maybe that's another video idea um but yeah i welcome your comments you know um i'm here to talk you know i'm an open book so hit me up anyway thanks so much bye